Yes. Is there further direction from the council regarding uh, bringing the, the issue of tree um, guidelines and uh, ordinances back for discussion this spring with, with further input from co the community groups? Council Member McCown. <coughs> well, I would hope the council would uh, move forward with uh, a tree committee or, you know, by one means or another. And, you know, what form this takes, I'm not sure, and, and I won't be here. But by one means or another, I would like to see us to do something to improve the level of protection that we currently give to trees. And the point's been made that the city is often one of the worst offenders, and, uh, and the ordinance, the proposed ordinance, primarily would apply to the city and to commercial properties, and it would not, as I understand it, apply to single family residences. I actually, although, you know, I'm sensitive to the issues of the budget uh, concerns and costs that this might drive on to city staff, other than that, I, I favor adoption of a tree ordinance because every year we lose uh, one or more heritage trees, you know, oaks this big, we lost it at least two uh, last year. Uh, that were cut down on uh, public property on uh, private property but uh, commercial property and with an ordinance those trees would have been saved or at least there would have had to have been a discussion about it and perhaps mitigations so if if we're not prepared to go in the direction of an ordinance I hope we would at least uh, follow the suggestions that, that have been presented to us that by one means or another we at least gather together all of the existing policies so we develop a very clear picture of what what we can do even if it's on a voluntary or an educational basis at least let's bring that back up to speed because it sounds like the community went through this process previously and developed policies and that they've since all fallen by the wayside. And I think uh, under the Brown Act, two council persons can help uh, work with the community to bring that back. I, uh, and any, any council member can have it agendized, and I, if, if no other council member would do that, I'd, I'd like to see that specific item and direction be agendized for March, but we don't need to actually find the exact date tonight, but, uh, and I would hope that several members of the council uh, following the Brown Act, uh, pursue this issue and work with the community groups that have worked so hard on it uh, and that we discuss it uh, during a meeting in March. Further, uh, further discussion or direction on uh, item 10A. With regard to the remaining items, I would move the recommended action. Second. Second. Further discussion? Uh, again, let's, let's read out loud the, the recommended actions. Direct staff to include the requests to develop these ordinances, and I believe that's referring to the six above, as part of the 2009-2010 budget preparation and service level discussions. Well, make, make her the motion like to add hillside sign? Well, for clarification, it would also include the other ordinances listed on page three and page four of the staff report other than those that have already been addressed. Is that clear to um, the council? That would include uh, those items mentioned on the very first page of the agenda summary report and items on three and four of the agenda summary report. Further discussion? Roll call. Councilmember Thomas. Aye. Crane. Aye. McCowan. Yes. Roden. Yes. Mayor Baldwin. Yes. Moving on to item 10B. 
consider staff recommendation to drill a test well on city-owned property at Gobi Street and Orchard Avenue. Uh, city Manor Chambers. Our Public Works Director, Tim Erickson, is prepared to speak on this item. Thank you. Good evening, Council, and uh, congratulations, Mayor Baldwin. Thank you. Uh, t tonight, um, we're here to discuss a, um, a sort of a transfer of funds. Uh, last year, at some point, we were drilling a test well in the area of uh, Brush Street, and staff came forward to the City Council to add $17,000 to that contract to do a test bore at um, the water treatment plant. However, the driller never completed that task and wasn't paid those $17,000. Uh, so w after that, the city acquired the Gobi Orchard Street property and staff is now recommending that instead of spending that money at the water treatment plant that we um, spend that money at the Gobi Orchard um, property that, that seems to be a better property for the uh, water, and we feel like we can, uh, the reason we were going to do the test bore at the water treatment plant was to kind of explore the turbidity there in the winter. Uh, we have another method to do that, so we're um, requesting that, that those monies, uh, we're not, there's no budget adjustment or anything like that, we're just requesting that we shift our efforts over to the Gobi Orchard Street property, which we own, as opposed to the water treatment plant property. Was there another location that we considered originally in the Oak Manor, East Gobi area? There, uh, I think you're talking about the park possibly? There was or even on the other side of Gobi from the park. Did we consider another location for a test well? That was kind of before my reign as the water czar, but we may have, I, I don't know about that. Okay, thank you very much. Council Member Crane. There were two sites that we were given as possibilities. One was uh, at the south end of Oak Manor Park uh, against Gibson Creek, just to the north of Gobi and to the west of Orchard. The other that we were pointed to was at River Park. And uh, later we were told that that was unsuitable. Uh, after we'd suggested not cannibalizing the park. Um, the turbidity issue for the site on the uh, water collection site on the east side of the freeway near the ball fields and the, and the water tank and the water treatment plant, uh, that, was, that was brought to us for, I thought, several reasons. One was turbidity. The other was, or another was to see if we had the same geology and the same potential water on land we already possess adjacent to the water treatment plant rather than on the other side of the freeway where uh, we've put an exploratory hole in on somebody else's property and I guess are still working toward some sort of an agreement on that property. And as I recall, the, the exploratory hole on the east side of the freeway on the water treatment or the city owned parcels was also going to determine or help us determine if it would possibly be a well site or if it would be a site for, or if it would tell us if we could push a lateral for the, from the Ranny Collector to the west and utilize that formation as, 